Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of... Oh, loud. That's better. Candle Pin Bowling, the app. Yesterday winner. Not yesterday's, but just plain old yesterday. Ryan Hogan with a 163. Which shows you how tough this game in Candle Pin Bowling really is. I believe when you hit the coins, you have to... No, don't care. Okay, now how do you exit? Oh, there's the big X. X. All right, we just have to sit through it, then hit the X. Okay. Okay, so now that means I can't get anything. And I got 200 points for sitting through that crap. Okay, so now we know what to do there. But, ooh, now Daily Tournament opened up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to practice again. Another five-stringer. Maybe I caught on to how this works. Let's raise the volume a little bit. There we go. Welcome to Mason's. Well, the wood helped. And finally. Ten. Okay, maybe I might have something. And a magic sweep that vanishes into the backboards. Frame two, ball one. Again, I move to the right. I'm wondering if that has something to do with the errant shots. And, okay, throw the ball. Throw the ball. Four horsemen, and yeah, it's not going to fall. That's a six. Next game, or throw. Oh, well, didn't see that one coming. No one saw that one coming. Two well stinko the bonus balls. What will they add up to? Zero. Plus, uh, double pinochle, six fill, well, not the greatest thing, but it's something. Oh, just a little too short. Curse of the fill. And that pin is a cement pin. You know, this one thing that this thing can do that I definitely can't do in the real thing is throw a 40 mile an hour ball. Because no matter how slow I throw it, it's always a 40 mile an hour ball. See, I just barely moved it. And that might have cost me a decent run there. Stink frame of three. We knew they were coming. My high is an 86, but then that was only the second time I've ever picked up the game. And no, I think I actually did not move left enough. And not again. Another stink frame. This time it's a four. Frame seven. Well, I was hoping cement pin would go down, but it didn't. And we leave the high-low jack, or the one seven ten. That's a seven. 
Frame 8. Yep. That's better. Uh, well, okay, a little bounce back definitely helps. That's kind of a throwaway game. Let's try and be a hero. And it's exactly what I wasn't aiming for. I was aiming for the two in the wood pile. Oh, well, seven. Not bad. Ooh, definitely not bad. New Palace right. Ooh. Just missed. And if for some reason when it, the screen moves to the right, I have absolutely no control and it goes way off. That's a niner. Well, we might hit 70s. And we will. And we got the Steve Bronchuk. The Dread Eagle. Well, we found the hole. And game one will end with completely the opposite direction I threw the ball, but still a seven nonetheless. And with a 75. Yay. I'm a pro. I'm as good as this as I am in the real thing. Let's try game number two. Mm, wash out. Four horsemen left in the ten. Well, close. And at eight. I think in the real game, that would have been a piece of wood that had to be removed. But hey, it's a phone game. It even counts gutter balls depending on how it hits. The David Letterman. The other David Letterman. I found the t I found the black holes. Stink frame of two. Worst frame so far. Game number three, or ball three. Oh, talk about getting ripped off. Welcome to Masons. Well, I tried. It was a roadblock. Hey, an eight, not too bad. Frame four. Mm, nice. Queen's leave. Or three of the four horsemen. Two direct. Punched out the one. And I leave the two pin for another nine. I'm going to jinx it by saying I think I got how it works. It's just a matter of controlling it better. Eight. Either that or I'm just dumb lucky. How does the seven pin not fall? I swear the seven pin has cement in it. Piece of wood help there. And leave the bowling god's middle finger for the nine.
Next. Ow. Scroll to the right too much. And then when you think you got to figure it out, you don't. It's a three. The stink frame of this game, at least one of them. Oh no, there was the two. And I think it was more of luck than anything. And a five. Yay. Looks like it all fell apart. And in game two with uh, somewhere in the 70s maybe. And of course that pin doesn't want to go. That was a decent hit, but... And a nine. Actually, compared to Mason's, uh... Actually, this makes Mason's look like it's a grease pit. <laughs> uh, yeah. How come it's always a half Worcester? And that pit, that's an interesting way for a piece of wood to lay. And end with a six, and that's game number two. Sixty-nine. Well, some people would say that's a good score. But I don't, because it's pathetic. Game number three. Sometimes I just don't understand what counts as a throw and what causes it to reset. Yeah. The steady downward progress. That's a five. That was practically a pocket hit. How did that not turn into anything? Yeah, get that one pin. It annoyed me. So filled with cement. And only a seven. Apparently the wood, I didn't pay attention, was not in a good spot. Frame three. Eight. Wasn't expecting that. And that levitating pin is pulled away. Four. Not bad. Here's a mark that I could probably get and blow it. See? I knew I'd blow it. Just like the real thing. And that's a I wish it was a ball two moment. But a ten. Five. Yeah. Meh. Ah, oh, so close. Well, still makes it a crappy five. Frame six. David Letterman. I was 
going to say anywhere that would have went. Punched out the six pin for an eight. And one pin had enough of this awful bowling. Plenty of real estate, and I wound up hitting the 10. That's a 6, and you get to hear my lovely neighbor's dogs. They're so annoying. I just wish the landlord told him to get rid of them. One attacks people. I've been attacked twice. I've seen it attack another person. They're well aware of this. And, well, at least it's an 8 at the most. And you thought I was making a mistake when I said 8 at the most. I was just telling the future. Alright, last two frames. Ninth frame is known as the foundation box. In this case, the building on top of it is probably going to collapse. Oh, that wasn't too bad of a shot. Oh, Mark. Didn't see that one coming. El Stinko, the bonus ball. Let's see what it gives us. El Stinko lives up to its name with a pathetic one. At least we're in the 70s again. Ending game number three with... 74, I believe. Oh, 75. Hey, that much better. I just wish you could take this and move it so you can see the score. And you kind of see everything except 3 through, well, part of 7. Well, you see the actual totals in terms of the numbers of pins knocked down, but not the total of the score. Okay, number 4. Now that I know how to... Uh, gain extra coinage, I can then just go for some, go for some of the uh, other things. Seven. Like, beat the score. I think the 50 coin games are, they give you a score and you got to try to beat it. Watch them say, try to beat 300. Which so far has been proven to be an impossible feat in candlepin bowling. 245 is as high as anybody's ever got. Some guy who owns French King Bowling Alley and Chris Sargent both co-hold that record. Ooh, ooh. Wish the 10 went over. Well, an 8 at least. And probably will be it. And that's it. Oh. Why did my stomach have to make noise at that point? And I do that in the real game quite often. That made things better. Well, seven. Yeah, just finished eating some Subway. And the patented first ball 10 pin thing that I do in real life. And slightly off spot, I believe. Uh, 
and a 5. I bet if I had a bigger screen, I'd have better control, but then again, that would be kind of cheating, wouldn't it? I'm playing on a phone. Oops, how did that happen? Two El Stinko the bonus balls. Let's see if they'll actually add up to something. I think they kind of did the last time. El Stinko 1 looks pretty good, and... Seven, not bad. The split sucks. Huh. Who saw that one coming? I sure didn't. Spare on strike. Too bad this game's not that great. Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. And I'm talking about the game that I'm bowling, not the game itself. I would have given this thing up if I didn't think the game was all that great. It would have been uninstalled a while ago. It probably would have counted it. But... Well, 9 fill on the spare ain't bad. My high is an 86. And we are at 79. And we're still at 79. We are now not at 79. I think we're there. 87, I think. Yep, new high. Let's see if we can get it to 90. That'll help. 94. Spare. And time for the bonus ball. And half Worcester it. Let me guess, 99. Yeah, figures. Figures. Couldn't have given the dog a bone, huh? But, hey, that's a new high single on this game on 99. So, that's four of them. One more. And I doubt it'll be as high as that. Ouch. Spread Eagle with Prey and One Talon. Completely wrong wing that it went after. And way overcompensated. Well, we start wonderful. We start very with a very wonderful four. I can't talk because I'm not that bright. Everybody knows that. Anyway... Typical. I believe just like the real game, this is known as the crash. Because we had a high, so now we're going to careen out of control into the ground and obliterate anything that's under it. Number three. Oh. That one I actually did know it was going to go. Uh, double P-knuckle. As Dave Malice says, prune juice for everybody. Oh. I swear these pins are filled with cement. That's a seven. Second ball was better, but we got the four horsemen to deal with. Eh, not too bad. It had an eight. If 
frame five ball one. I'm surprised they never got a good sky texture for this game. Looks like a really low res, uh, overly compressed JPEG. Well, now we got that loner 10 pin out of the way. Let's see if we can get the majority. Yeah, okay, it's a seven. Frame six, ball one. That one I can't say, how did that happen? That actually did look good. It actually went where I threw it. Two El Stinko balls. Let's see what El Stinko one gives us. Yeah, yuck. And that piece of wood's not going to be a much, much of a help. Oh, well, it actually was. Nine fill, that's actually pretty good. And I threw it to the left, but somehow it went right. Hey, nine. Frame eight. Somehow that went off. A little off, but not too bad. And eight. And away it goes. And frame nine, ball one, almost ready to end. Half Worcester on the right. Wish you could move the camera, but you can't. And we find the hole. That's a four. Well, I'm surprised that's not a curtain there. The black hole for the six. David Letterman, no sound. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. We're in the 80s. And that went the wrong way. Oh, well. And we end the series of five with an 82. Yeah, not too bad. I think we definitely figured it out. It's just a matter of actually executing it more often. And again, it's on a six inch screen. So that makes it a little more challenging not to make lame excuses because I'm sure people are getting hundreds on a phone, even with a five inch screen. So pathetic excuse. Anyway, not too bad. Maybe next time we're going to actually go for some actual pay to play games and by pay I mean the coins that we earn by watching ads and the 500 that we initially started with when you get the game to begin with that's this episode George 551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one